The Economy in Demolition and Bateman Island Restoration. You're watching Richland Now. I'm Holly Alexander and thanks for watching Richland Now. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are looking for public feedback on a draft report on efforts to restore the Yakima River Delta. This project directly impacts access to Bateman Island. While the city of Richland supports improving conditions around Bateman Island, the city was not involved in the process as a cooperating agency. The city will be responding with an evaluation regarding the project. Citizens are encouraged to submit feedback via the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers or the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife websites. There will also be two public open houses at the Reach Museum on Thursday, February 23rd from noon to 2 and again from 3 to 6 p.m. The open houses will include listening sessions with opportunities for attendees to share their feedback. Work has begun to demolish the economy in on George Washington Way. Crews plan to have the building demolished and the site restored by the end of April. While future plans are still in the works, for now the city will install landscaping. The city bought the property in June of 2022 for $1.2 million, and one potential project for the site would be to build a new fire station to replace the aging Station 71 currently located at George Washington Way and Swift Boulevard. The City of Richland is developing a comprehensive safety action plan to guide future transportation safety improvements and is seeking citizen input to help identify transportation safety concerns. The 2022 Local Road Safety Plan adopted by City Council in March of 2022 was developed to reduce fatal and serious injury crashes using engineered infrastructure solutions. The plan studied crashes on Richland's entire road network, developed priorities for safety improvements, and proposes solutions to mitigate crashes on Richland street systems. The survey is open through March 10, 2023. Please leave your feedback by dragging the icons at the top of the page to any point on the map. Richland Police Chief Bridget Clary recently announced the promotion of David Neer to the position of Deputy Police Chief. Neer came to the police department as a police officer in June of 2021, was promoted to Lieutenant in February 2022, and Police Commander in April 2022. Prior to Richland, he worked at the Citrus Heights Police Department in California as a detective sergeant in the Special Investigations Unit, as an acting lieutenant, a patrol sergeant, on the SWAT team, and the unmanned aerial systems team leader, among other roles. Following the promotion of Near to Deputy Police Chief, Chief Bridget Clary promoted Damon Jansen to the position of commander. Commander Jansen will be responsible for the Investigations Division of the Police Department. Jansen transferred to the Police Department in 2003 and has spent 11 years as a detective and has served in various roles in the Special Investigations Unit since it started. He was promoted to Lieutenant in June of 2022. Damon Jensen is a Washington native growing up in Sunnyside. If you want to have a blast with a dash of color, Ready, Set, Hop will be here before you know it, and you don't want to miss out on the fun. Start with a family-friendly walk along the gorgeous Riverfront Trail starting at Columbia Point Marina Park. Families may choose to end their walk by getting blasted with a colored powder or going straight to the park for an egg hunt. Water and snack stations will be set up along the trail. Mr. Bunny and friends will also be there. Participants should bring a towel to wipe off excess powder and your own baskets to collect colored eggs. And those who are registered before March 10th receive an event t-shirt. Registration is open for the Spring Youth Flag Football League until March 6th. Boys and girls grade one through six can sign up for this premier league geared towards building self-confidence and teaching kids age appropriate skills while staying active and having fun. This is a non-contact league with a focus on safety and players will wear officially licensed NFL jerseys. And best of all, everybody plays. If you miss the March 6th registration deadline, late registration will run from March 7th to the 13th. The City of Richland would like to thank two employees for their many years of service to the city. Police Officer Richard Kane is retiring after 21 years and Library Assistant Ann Brennan is retiring after 14 years. Congratulations on your retirement.
We'd also like to wish a happy 20th anniversary to Annette Melville and 15th anniversaries to Jenny Davis and Doris Siller. If you would like more information on any of these stories or other stories, visit the City of Richland website below. And don't forget, we are where you are. Find us on all the popular social media platforms. I'm Holly Alexander. Thank you for watching Richland Now.